What Amazon did with this move is opened up the whole concept of CTV advertising and made it immediately available to the millions of people using the advertising console already. In this video, we're going to examine connected or streaming TV and how Amazon's advertising platforms can get you up and running with this type of ad. As we see a continued shift away from traditional linear television and with everyone watching TV and video content via streaming services, the advertising landscape is changing to accommodate. So the attention of these viewers is still valuable, of course, so the ad budgets are going to follow. The most high profile example of CTV with Amazon that you've probably heard of is Prime Video and of course, Thursday Night Football. Both of these benefit from a huge number of viewers. The ads themselves on CTV look a lot like ads on traditional TV. They're 30 seconds long, they're high production quality, they end with a simple, straightforward call to action like a QR code that can take a shopper to the product page on Amazon. This is where the similarities end though because the level of targeting, customization, and reporting far exceeds what has been traditionally available for TV advertisers. For the last few years, CTV advertising has been available only through Amazon's DSP platform and for brands with sufficiently large ad budgets. You can purchase inventory on Amazon's owned and operated properties, some of which we just talked about, or third-party publishers. This is an avenue to drive the mid and long-term demand and break into new markets, or get in front of totally new shoppers who have never heard of your brand before. But at Unbox this year, Amazon did something totally unexpected and announced sponsored TV. What Amazon did with this move is opened up the whole concept of CTV advertising and made it immediately available to the millions of people using the advertising console already. This change means anyone advertising on the ad console now has access to CTV inventory without the high minimum spend required in Amazon DSP. Those top of the sales funnel awareness marketing efforts are no longer just for big brands. At its release, the inventory available with sponsored TV includes a couple things. We have Freevee, which is Amazon's free ad-supported streaming television, Twitch, which has 140 million monthly active users, and then Amazon Fire TV apps, many of which have cut a deal with Amazon to include advertising. Sponsored TV lets you target based on a couple of things, lifestyle interests, and in-market categories or subcategories. Here are a few key metrics to measure impact that we have at the launch of Sponsor TV. So first is impressions, just what it sounds like, how many times people saw your ad. Next is ad attributed brand searches, how many times people search for your brand after seeing your ad. And third, product detail page views, how many times shoppers actually looked at your product on Amazon as a result of seeing your ad. Before you rush into making your first campaigns though, here's a few other considerations. First and foremost, you'll need creative suitable for a TV ad. The good news here is that this is more easily accomplished than ever with smartphones taking professional quality footage and editing software being widely available. Sponsored TV is a CPM, not CPC model, which is the one that you might be more used to with sponsored products. Instead, you're paying per thousand impressions of your ad, not per each click. Your call to action is critical, so be sure to add one. The most common way to do this is with a QR code, but there are some types of streaming TV ads that will be possible to click through as well. And last, allocate enough budget for testing in order to give it enough of a proper test over a long enough period of time. While you get immediate, easy access to streaming TV placements, there are some downsides too mainly that the targeting is not as finely tuned as you would get with Amazon DSP. Still, sponsored TV can be looked at the same way as we look at sponsored display. It basically took something complicated and gave us the essentials to get started without requiring a large budget commitment or extensive configuration of targeting options. It should give us meaningful new avenues to test awareness and exposure, and quite frankly, we're excited to try it. So if you need help with anything sponsored TV, or just want to get in touch about Amazon ads in general, check the description below and find us at AMZ Pathfinder. All right, thanks.